In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make Roblox thumbnails, and we're starting right now. You want to know how I, Joker Pride Gaming, have created such an illustrious amount of thumbnails. Well, it's simple, but this is for PC users only. So if you're on mobile, I'm sorry. Uh, this is what you're gonna need. You're gonna need Ro you're gonna need Roblox Studio, and you're gonna need Blender, along with two other things that I'll be mentioning later on the video, but I'm not gonna say right now. So, the first thing you want to do is you want to open Roblox Studio. So you're in Roblox Studio. This is one of like the places that I go to. Whatever you need to make a thumbnail. I have all this stuff over here. Now these these are face tasks. These right here. This is what I use for like making all the. Uh, weird expressions and faces that I use. I'm gonna show you how to do that later on. First thing you wanna do, you're gonna need to download this this plugin. It's called Moon Animator Suite. It's gonna, it's probably gonna say old or something like that, but don't worry about it. Real quick, one thing I forgot to do while I was recording this was to tell you how to basically find Moon Animator Suite. So what you're gonna do is go over to uh, the Roblox menu, then type in Moon Animator Suite in library. Now that it'll show you the models, but what you want to do is to go over here and go down to plugins and click whichever one old mood animation suite and then just install it. So, all right. After you plug in a uh, moon animator suite, the first thing you want to do is open up character inserter. And what you want to do is to type in any username that you need. I'm going to type myself in even though I already have myself. And here's right here. You can use R15 or R6, just don't use default body. But I personally use uh, R15. And here we go. So you have your character right here, but he's in this static position just standing. You want to have it like in like some position like so that it connects to the audience. This this is just bland. So that's what we have well done it for. This thing right here. This right here. This is how you change the positioning of all your characters. But I'm just going to tell you a few basic things about it. So there's uh, multiple parts. It depends on which type of body type. For R15, it's more complicated, but R6 is a lot easier to use but in order to like change like how the rotation of the arm you just well of the body part you just have to click upon it and then just use these whichever way you please and to change like how far the body part is to the character then you just want to do something like this I'll just do a quick time lapse so that like uh, you guys won't be able to you won't have to see this part All right, so now that I'm back, now that I'm back, I got him in the position that I want him to be, but his face is kind of uh, not so expressive at the time. So what I want to do is to go into the Explorer part. It should be by default at the right, at the right of your screen and to take away this mesh part right here. Don't worry, it'll just have like this hat on it. It, this for this one it says mesh part accessory it depends on what type of clothing you have i have a lot of, i have a lot of avatar clothes so i spent too much robux but still what you want to do just click on this press the delete press the delete button or you could just right click and delete and boom there you have it you can just see my face and oh i forgot to tell you the way that i get all these decal parts is from the toolbox just look up RFCM, well, no, RFMC faces. And here you get the face pack. This is how you get all the expressions and stuff. It's the exact same as this one. But yeah, this here is how I get all of my faces. This is how you get all the faces. Now this, now this expressive face right here, you want to double click on it. Double click on that. Then go to the Roblox texture ID and copy that with control C. Now that you have that copied, you want to go back to your character. And where is he at? There you are. 
then you want to then you want to well guess maximize it then click on head then you'll see the decal part called face you want to, what you want to do is to go down to the texture and paste it and boom there you go ready and perfect for a thumbnail now that you have uh, your thumbnail worthy person ready you want to right click and scroll down to well not scroll but go down to export selection and here you go just type in a file name I'll type in Roblox thumbnail Boom, save it. Now, let's get on to the next part of the video. Alright, so for this step, what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to open up Blender. Make sure that you have this downloaded and installed already, so you will be ready for this. Now, this is not the default, this is not the default uh, thing. This is not the default thing. There will be a block in the middle of the screen or at the origin, and what you want to do is just... Uh, Click on that, just right click and press delete. It'll show, it'll probably be at the bottom, it'll probably be at the bottom of the list, but don't worry about it. So what you wanna do next is you wanna go to file, go down to import and go to wavefront.obj. Now for this part, you're gonna need to find the place that you downloaded this, to, that you downloaded your uh, model and just Click on the block part, not the file part, not this right here. Click on the block parts, this one that says .obj, and import the object. And you want to click on the object twice, not scroll down. You want to click on it twice. Click on that, and then right click, set origin and geometry to origin. And there you go. He's right there. Now this thing right here, this is the camera. What we want to do is to have him face towards the camera which is what we have these mechanics over here for. Move, rotate, scale, and transform. So what you usually want to do is to like rotate it, well, move it and rotate it towards the camera and just have it ready in place. And in order for you to like check before you uh, have it rendered, you want to press this right here and just go in and out, make sure that he's facing the right place, and boom, there goes the homeboy. Yeah, yeah, all right, so now that you have him in place, what you wanna do now is to go to the top of your keyboard, the top of your keyboard, and press F12. F12, that is what renders the object, that is the hot key for rendering the object. So. Here, here is the rendered object, and yeah, this is how it should turn out. What you want to do after this step is to press Shift Alt S, Shift Alt S, and what you want to do is save it under a different file name other than like the just untitled, so that you can have it remembered. I don't really do this personally, but I think it would help a lot. So I'll just put it as Joker thumbnail and save as image. Make sure that you press Shift Alt S, not Control Shift S. That's not how it works. Just Shift Alt S. Now save that as an image. And yeah. Now on to the next step. All right. So for this part of the so for this part of the step, you will need to type in remove dot bg. Now remove background from image, remove background from image. And you want to go over here and upload the file that you have. Just click on this, click on it, click on the render that you made and just press open. And boom, that's how you remove the background filling from all the other stuff. So for these last final steps, what you'll need to do is to type in photo editor E. I use photo editor E because it's uh, much more easier for me to use. You'll want to go to create new and to go to full HD, create, and boom, 
Here you have your flat canvas. This is the whatchamacallit? This is the YouTube thumbnail size, 1920 times 1080p. And this is how it should look out. What you want to do next is to click on layer, go to add image as layer. And to get the Joker thumbnail removed BG preview, make sure it's not the first one, make sure it says remove BG preview. Now considering that it's kind of small, you, what you want to do is just size it up a bit, just scale it a bit more. And boom, there I am. So for this part of the video, what you're going to need is a background. Now since I'm a Football Fusion YouTuber, I usually look up a football field, which I'm going to do right now. Football field, and boom, here it is. So what I'd usually do is just right click, copy image, and paste it. And boom, here I have my background. Now, unfortunately, the background is in front of my character, but all I have to do is just go to the layers part and just bring this above the background. And what I'm gonna do is just go over to text, click add text, and edit this entire thing so that it'll have some that it'll be relevant to the content that I am making. One thing that is very key about making any of your thumb making any of your thumbnails is that you need to catch the person's attention. So what you'd want to do is to not only like just put like some nice text that would catch people's eyes, but also make sure that it's visible to not only like just changing the color but changing the type of font to use. So maybe something like this, change the size up a little bit, oh, that was way too big, but here you go, maybe something like this, maybe something like that. Alright, now for what I'm doing here is I am changing the size of the text boxes so that it'll be more visible to viewers, because it's going to look really small on mobile, it's going to look really small on mobile, the main place where people watch YouTube. And just like going over, just changing the, the size of it, just changing the outline, just using an outline so that it'll be more appealing. And what else I'm doing here is, yes, 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 yes. What I'm doing here, what I'm doing here is that I'm using a gradient. It, just follow what I just did, like go to that toolbox that has like those weird stuff, that weird thing on it, just change the color of it, make sure that it's not 100% opacity, because then it will just take over the entire background, and yeah, just change it to whatever color you want, whatever seems nice, and boom, that's how, that's how it looks. Alright, so, now that you've finished your thumbnail now that you finished your thumbnail what you'll want to do is to press control s and to change your file name i'll change it to the thumbnail and boom it's done it's downloaded ready to go ignore the ads but <laughs> Yeah. Let me see some.